With the release of version 14.20, you now have the ability to add a structure inset view based on any of the PLS pole or tower models in the available structure list of your project to the sheets view. For this example, I'm going to use the WPL demo line and add an inset view of one of the structures to a notes page as well as add an inset view in the drawing page using the new entity info command. First we'll start off in the sheets view and zoom in on the second notes page which has a structure inset view created using the inset plan view method. We will add a new structure inset view on this same sheet using the drafting inset views add inset structure view command. This will prompt you in the status bar to define the area you want to use for the inset view. I will draw a rough box of the area and we can use the entity info commands later to edit the view. This will bring up the add structure view dialog box where you can either choose the structure view you wish to add to this area by the structure number or by the file name from the available structure list. For this I will pick the dead end pole 52A from the list. You will see that you have a preview of the structure in the right side of the dialog. Then at the bottom you can select whether you want an isometric, plan, longitudinal, or transverse view of the structure. For this example, let's leave it as an isometric view, then click continue. This will then bring up the sheet inset view table, but in a vertical format with just the information about the one structure inset view. You can go back to the traditional horizontal table by clicking the transpose table button in the upper right corner of the table. This new button is available in many of the tables in PLS CAD, PLS Pole, and Tower, which allows you to enter the data for an entity either vertically or horizontally. For this example, I will turn on the inset view border so we can see how it aligns with the previous inset view border. You can hit the apply button to see the changes or you can hit OK for the changes to occur. Now let's use the inset view entity info commands to place the bottom and top of the new inset view at the same level as the adjacent inset view. You can do this by using the entity info commands and snapping to the inset view. If the snap does not go there automatically you can hit the S key and change the snap to go to the inset views. Then from the menu select the option to resize the inset view. If you hold down the control key as moving the side selected it will snap to the adjacent inset view's position. Then to scale the structure back to the new view extents if necessary you can select the auto scale command which sizes the structure to fit in the new border. Next we can add a structure inset view to any sheet by using the entity info command. First zoom to the first drawing sheet and then change the snap settings back to a structure focus. Then we'll left click on the first structure of the first drawing sheet and select the add inset view for structure which brings up the add inset report view and you can choose the page you want it added. I can select any page that I would want the structure view added to and the sheets view will automatically zoom to that location. In this case we want to leave it set to drawing 1. If you wanted to add a blank page you could do so with the quick buttons on the right side of the dialog. Next you can pick the location by defining the percentage of the sheets view you would like for it to be defined on the sheet. A highlighted preview box will show you where you are selecting in the sheet. You can type these in directly or you can click on the arrows to interactively move the preview page. You can also use the arrow keys to change these values. Once the position has been defined, you can select the type of view. For example, let's pick a longitudinal view. Then hit OK and you will see the sheet inset view in a vertical format where you can change any of the selection you want for the view. As you can see, you can quickly and easily add structure inset views to your projects for clarity. If you would like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you would like further information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at powline.com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at powline.com. We look forward to hearing from you soon.